Hello students, today we're doing lesson 10.1, finding a percent of a number. So this is a very practical lesson here because there's many times in life when you're finding percents of a number. And one of them, uh, and a lot of times, is with money. So for example, if you bought a bicycle for $115 and the sales tax was 5%, then you may want to figure out how much sales tax um, that's going to be. So if you're saving up your money for a bicycle, you need to save up more than $115, the cost of it, because you're going to have to pay sales tax. So in that example, we're going to hop right into example one. Um, in example one, we're going to use the example I just said. If you're trying to find the sales tax, you would be finding 5% of 115 Um and our question is 5% of 115 is what number? So in other words, what is the tax on this bicycle? Okay, so when I put it into a sentence like that, it's easy to go through like we have in the past and write out an equation for this. So when we're doing 5%, we never leave it as percent. We always change it to decimal. So 5% would be, remember when we change a percent to a decimal, we move the decimal point two places to the left. So the decimal would be 0 0.05. And you can put the zero in front if you want to. Of is almost always times in math. Not always, but in this case it is. So 0 0.05 times 115 is, we know that is means equals, and what number means that I don't know, so that means it's my variable, x. So I have 0 0.05 times, I'm going to change that times to be parentheses because I think it kind of looks like a decimal point. Okay, so 0 0.05 times 115 equals x. So in this equation, x is already by itself, so I just need to do this part of the equation. And I can use my calculator for that, or if I need to, I could go off to the side. Since I don't have my calculator handy, I'm just going to go off to the side and do this math. So I get 575. I need to put a decimal in there. Well, my decimal is two places to the right of the decimal, so I'm going to have two places to the right. And my answer is 575. So the tax on this bicycle is $5.75. So you're going to have to um, save up a little bit more than $115. Okay, let's do another example. So example two says uh, solve 12.5% of 75. And on this one, it says write an equation. 2.5% uh, percent of 75. Okay, well first of all, 12 and a half is written in a fraction and we want this in decimal. So I'm gonna rewrite this to be a decimal. How do we write half as a decimal? 0.5, right? So I have 12.5% of 75 and I'm gonna move this decimal place two places to the left. So I have 0.125 of is times 75. So now, because I don't have a calculator with me, although I could have, um, I do have the answer next to me, but I'm just going to show you anyway. I need to do my multiplication here, and then placeholder, 7 times 5 is 35, 3 on 14 is 17, and 1 on 7 is 8. Okay, so... Most of y'all should be using calculators, so this isn't going to be a problem for you. Okay, so my answer is 9.375. So basically, when you're trying to find a percent of a number, you are just multiplying. But you have to make sure that that <coughs> percent, <coughs> sorry, that percent is in decimal form. Okay, last... Um, Example is I'm going to show you another way besides um, this multiplication. We will end up multiplying. But I'm going to show you another way that kind of helps with our lesson tomorrow. 
but finding a percent of a number using a proportion. So if I have 30% of 150, I can also write this as a proportion. So if I have 30%, I could write that as 30 out of 100, and it's going to equal what proportion out of 150, or what, what number out of 150. Um, now, I'm not going to leave that question mark. Instead, I'm going to have a x right there, right? Or if you want to put an n, um, whatever variable you want. And there's my variables. So when I say 30% of 150, I know that um, it's going to be a smaller number, right? Because 30% of 150 is going to be smaller. So when I set up proportions, I always want to line up things. And since uh, 30 out of 100, the 100 is your whole. That's like, oh, I have 100 people or I have 100 of something. And so the 150 is my whole. And then the 30 is the part and the X is the part. So that's the less lesser number. So this is the way I would set it up. So now I could do my cross multiplication. 100 times X is 100 X. And 30 times 15 is 4,500. The way I did that very quickly in my head was I did three times 15 is 45. And then I just added those two zeros at the end. And now I divide by 100. Again, I can do this quickly in my head. And I get x equals 45. Remember, when you're dividing in your head, you could just cross out the same number of zeros. So if I have two zeros here and two zeros here, those get crossed out. And so my answer is 45. And um, that's it for today. Those are all the examples, but I want you to do some on your own. So I want you to turn to page 374. and go to the skills check. And on the skills check, they have two different things, write an equation and solve and write a proportion and solve. So I want you to try both. So I want you to do just numbers one and number five. And um, so I want you to hit pause. You can either do just number one and then come back <clears throat> and then come back and listen to the video uh, for how to answer number one. And then you could do number five, or you could do the both and then come back. But remember, number one, you're doing with an equation, like examples one and two. And number five, you're doing a proportion, like example three. So hit pause, do these on your own, and then come back. Okay, you should be back now. So on number one, on the skills check, it is 30% uh, 30 of 70. So on this one, you were supposed to just do the multiplication. So I need to always change this to a decimal. So I have 0.30 or 0.3. Okay, 0.30 and 0.3 are the same thing. Of means times 70. So now I'm going to do this part. I have, uh, if I had 3 times 70, that would be 210. And then I have to move my decimal point one place. So 21. So my answer for number one is 21. Okay, number five. Now, if you haven't done number five, hit pause and then come back to it. But if you have, here's how you do it. 20% of 15. So I'm going to set up a proportion. I'm going to go 20 over 100 equals x over 15. And now I'm going to cross multiply. So I get 100x equals 20 times 15 is 300. Then I'm going to divide by 100 and x equals 3. So I hope you got both of those correct. If not, go back and watch the video again. And in our next um, next few lessons, we're going to be learning some different ones of percentages and numbers and sometimes finding the percent, sometimes finding the whole, sometimes finding the part. So we'll be talking about all of those in the next couple of lessons. That's it. Bye.